Okay, went to a ham fest today up in Richmond, VA. And this is one of the things I picked up at a real good price. It's an Allied Model A2515 shortwave receiver. I remember Denny had one of these. And I was always impressed with it. It's uh, solid state, very stable, and uh, sensitive. At least his was. AM and sideband, and, you know, CW, of course. It runs on AC or DC. And uh, covers, um, I don't know, I think it's like 100 kilo, or 150 kilohertz to 30 megahertz. So before I plug it in, I'm just going to pop the covers off it for a second and uh, make sure there's n nothing obvious that uh, needs to be looked at before we put the juice to it. So, stand by. Okay, got the covers off. And it's a little bit dirty. Uh, you know, to be expected. Someone has also outfitted the top of the cabinet with a 4-inch uh, speaker. Um, so you don't, I guess, really need to use an external but anyway, peek inside, everything looks to be there, and um, all complete. The fella said it worked, I don't really doubt him, but, you know, before I go plugging anything strange in here, um, I've learned to make sure the fuse is the right value, and it's uh, a good idea to do a general visual. <laughs> Power supply board over here will need some work but uh, anyway let's look at the bottom and what do you know the bottom looks pretty good doesn't look like anybody's been uh, tinkering in there kind of a quick visual inspection everything looks to be original that's all very good news so I'm optimistic this thing actually might work but it's going to uh, get some cleaning up anyway. Anyway, what else did I get at the ham fest? Here's some goodies here. Bought some tips for my uh, weller. Guy had a couple tips there. Um, a 240-31 ferrite and a 240-43 ferrite. Here's a whole can of solder wick. <laughs> you ever see it in a can before? Anyway, there's uh, 10 rolls um, of uh, solder wick in this uh, vacuum sealed can. So, pretty cool. That'll last me a while. Uh, some more ferrites, some smaller ones. And a bunch of coax adapters. Um, SMA to BNC. Both genders. Stuff like that. So, uh, I think that was about it. Anyway, uh, it was a good fit. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I think it's worth uh, giving this thing a shot. Let me plug it in here. And we'll see what happens. Do I have an antenna hooked up? No, I don't. So I'll need to do that. This will be the old band doublet. And, okay, so here we go. Power on. Look at that. Lights up. And there's audio. No tubes to warm up. Where am I here? I'm on the 4.8 to 14.5. Power. There's WWV at 10 mega sparks. Hey, it's working. Okay, let's go to 40 meters. So you set the main tuning at this little index mark here. And then you use the band spread to tune the band. We need sideband. How do we do that? Sideband. And lower sideband.
Okay, that's a little off. No big deal. All right, let's hear some side bit. It's like Canary Islands, I think. 40 meters side bend. Not much action out of the meter here. Just to see if I can hear much different. Uh, but again, I don't want to do it while I'm on the air. So I did make that. Took the uh, the non-compression setting, uh, changed the level one level. Wow, that's pretty cool. Are... Hey, this is going to work. Uh, probably just a little power supply, electrolytic cleanup, maybe some in the amplifier, and uh, I think this will be a nice little shortwave receiver. So. I think I might have gotten a bargain. Anyway, more on this baby later. Keep on tinkering.